Hello. I hope y'all are doing well on this Saturday. I have been struggling, y'all, with some back pain and sciatic nerve pain. So that's why I'm looking kind of pale and pasty and just I'm not feeling too hot. Um, my face does have some breakouts. I'm on the um, azelic acid. I had to take a break from it for a little while because my face was itching so bad and getting so dry. I'm also on um, tretinoin which is helping some, especially with my dark spots and some with my acne. But today I wanted to hop on and do a little something different. You know, I love me some Urban Retreat. I do, I love Urban Retreat to death. I love all of our supplements. I love all of the things. But y'all also know that I am a huge like makeup junkie. And so I'm never above trying other things like I've done pharmacy before. I've done the Cibella from Melaleuca before. Um, I also have some stuff from Bellamy. So that is what I'm going to be trying today. Um, the, I have Morphe palettes. Like I have tons of makeup. It's not, I just want y'all to know it's not any particular makeup. Like I may like certain things from one company and then other things from other. That is normal y'all. But today, I just wanted to try this out because this is a new technique that I've been watching people do. And so, I wanted to try it out. I love to recreate other people's makeup looks. And so, that's kind of what I am doing today. This is their 4-in-1 Hydrating Mist. It has, it's infused with Baobab oil. It's to prime, set, condition, and protect. So, we're going to let it sit for a minute. Um... It has essential oils in it. I can smell it. And I also did their Baobab oil first. Um, and y'all, again, please don't think, like, I'm not going anywhere. I love, love, love my Urban Retreat. I love our skincare. I love our hair care. I love our health and wellness. And I even love our makeup. I just like to try other things. Like, all the time, I like to try other things. And I was actually looking in... Um, I was actually looking online. There's some makeup by Mally Beauty that I want to try. Y'all let me know in the comments below if y'all have ever tried the Mally uh, makeup. It actually has a, it's a certain sponge that goes with it. And it's not really a powder. It's it's like this kind of creamy kind of, I don't even know how to explain, explain it. It's super soft texture, supposedly. And so <clears throat> I've been wanting to try that. I probably will. It's used to either prime and or set your makeup and what it does is it kind of just from what I understand it feels in the pores and stuff and it kind of feels in those lines and wrinkles to help conceal them so this stuff has really hydrated my face y'all um so that's why I want to try it so again like I'll do any kind of makeup it doesn't matter to me I just I like to try new things okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is put on Let's see, we're gonna put on a little bit of primer. <clears throat> and I think what I'm gonna do is mix the two of them. And y'all, I have not used this much at all. So it's kind of like <laughs> the blind leading the blind, I guess. Because this is only like my second or third time using this. Okay, so I did a little squirt of each. I'm usually more of a matte girl, but I'm just kind of mixing this. I'm going to rub all that in, and we're going to let that sit. I'm even putting it on my eyes, y'all. So that was the illuminating one and the matte one. Y'all, look at my shirt. It says, Raising Tiny Disciples. I've been having it for a couple of years. You know, I was kind of upset the other day because I had been, um ordering like every year I would order probably like seven, eight, nine t-shirts from an online store. It was called Crazy Cool Threads. And y'all, I think they went out of business because I don't ever see their stuff anymore. Okay, let's do brows while we're waiting on this to set. So anytime you use a primer, you're gonna wanna let it set at least five to 10 minutes. So you can work on other things while it's setting. And y'all, I really honestly don't know how this is this makeup looks going to turn out because I am doing a different technique. 
I've been watching people who use this makeup and that's what I like to do y'all. I love to watch makeup tutorials and then I get obsessed with the products without even trying them and I'm like oh my gosh like I have to try them. So that's kind of how this went and one of my friends actually um, works for Bellamy and so she had been after me to try their makeup and so I told her finally I told her I would. I was like okay I'll try it. So that's kind of how it happened here. Realistically speaking, y'all, like you are never, no matter, I don't care what MLM you work for, you are never going to like every single thing from every single company. So it's good to use, like, use what you like and share it. And don't be like worried about judgment or any of that. Because at the end of the day, it's whatever works for you and whatever makes you happy. I'm not going to lie, though. I do love, 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 love our three corrector from Urban Retreat. I just wanted to try something different. I'm not feeling good today. My back has been really bothering me. Okay, so our brows are pretty much done. Okay. <clears throat> so the technique that I was watching, they took a dark concealer first. I'm trying to think. And I think they did the light concealer too. And then they did the rest with the foundation. I think is how they did it. Where is the foundation that I have? Let's see this one. Okay. <clears throat> So normally with my Urban Retreat one, I would use my um, my 3D Corrector Cream and then this to do my contour. So it's essentially the same, except this one you do all of your contour and stuff first, and then you try you do the foundation. So this is new, y'all. Like this is not something I have ever tried before. Okay, let's see. This is shade nine. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit here. And I think what they did is they put it all on first. Okay. And then Then they blended it out. Okay, let's see. Okay. And you never want to go over half way on the eye like that. See how I stopped? Never want to go halfway. <clears throat> okay, so there's that. And then I think we're even gonna do this. My hand is unsteady, okay. And this will also save you some foundation. I'm gonna put a tiny bit on my eye because we're gonna use this as some eyeshadow primer too. I think with the exception of my eyebrows, we'll probably use the whole thing from there. Okay, let's see. So, um, I think we're just gonna use a, do I wanna use a brush? Yeah, I guess I'll use a brush. Okay, we're gonna use this to kind of buff this in and you wanna go up with it. And with this, y'all, you have to trust the process because it's gonna look a little cray cray at first. So I'm using this brush to do all the dark shades and then I'm gonna actually use it for my foundation. And this could be a total flop, y'all. I don't know. The key is to blend it out well. Okay. 
And I'm told that this skincare, I mean, this makeup has skincare in it. So this is also a plus. Ours at Urban Retreat does also. I've got some redness that I'm gonna have to do something with. Okay, for this, I guess the easiest way is just to kinda do this. And once we blend out the concealer and put foundation on, hopefully, it won't look this cray cray. Okay. All right, so there's that. And then we're gonna take this sponge, kinda just blend all this in. Super light under the eyes and over the eyes. Okay, we're getting somewhere, y'all. We are boiling crawfish today. Well, my husband is. After I get off of here, I'm probably going to go on the sofa with my heating pad, y'all, because I'm in a bind. <clears throat> okay. All right. Now that we have this, we're going to paint on some foundation. <clears throat> and what I say paint on... Like, I'm literally going to paint it on. Like, I have this brush. We're going to use this, I guess. I'm telling y'all, I'm not used to this. Okay, I'll just put a little bit on there. I want to focus on the areas that don't have foundation. I mean, that don't have bronzer. I may have to do this. I did a whole pump on my hand. How about that? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go here. 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 And then you'll take your brush, and this is actually the blush brush, but it works good. I'm told it works good for the foundation. Okay, so nice coverage, but I like a little more matte coverage. And so I'm gonna add a little bit more onto my hand and we'll go at it again. Um, and I'm gonna use that same exact brush, especially like in my T-zone here. wanted to get those spots and we're just gonna paint okay paint 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 so I again I am like 
thinking about ordering some of that Mali Beauty uh, Face Defender, and I was looking at their powders and stuff. Well, I just love makeup. Like, it could be any brand. I am who I am. I like what I like. And I love to try all kinds of stuff, so. I also love like supporting my friends' businesses and stuff because I know what it's like, like to be a little business owner. Cause I'm an urban retreat consultant. Okay, this definitely has more of like a natural Look, it's not going to be like super matte. And I'm even going to try a tiny bit more. I should have concealed those spots, but if you live and you learn. And I have a dark spot right there we're going to fix. Going to kind of buff it. go. Okay. Done with that part. Now, I like to set my makeup, and so <clears throat> I'm going to use some face powder that I have already, I think. We're gonna set, we're gonna set this bad boy. And I do like to bake. I know like a lot of people don't like that, especially if you have lines and wrinkles, but I have to have my powder, y'all. I can't deal without it. Be excited whenever Urban Retreat comes out with a powder. Then I like to take a little and go here and a little and go here because you have to think that we're going to be applying some color back to the face. Our contour kind of just gave us some depth. Like you can still see under there. Okay, and then next I'll take, I have their little palette. I'm debating on which one I want to use though. I think I'm going to use this one. Um, did I use, I don't know if I've ever used this. Okay, we'll try this one. I've, I don't think I've ever used it. Or maybe I'll try the darkness in there. Yeah, I'll try this first to contour with. And then I'll go back with the other one, I guess. almost like red on me. I don't know why my skin is like putting off that red vibe. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go a little under here, a little on the forehead. Blending away, blending away. <laughs> okay, not too bad. All right, I'm gonna take this shade now. It looks a little um, like glowy. Let's just see how it does. It's not super glowy. I think it kind of just softens it. My dogs are cutting up. Okay, 
that a little here. I'm just kind of going over my all of my bronzing powder because I I wanted to try some stuff on here. Okay, so there's that. For blush, we're gonna do some of this. We're gonna try to keep it kinda light. Oh, I cannot wait to go lay on my heating pad. put a tiny bit on the tip of my nose and then we'll use some uh, highlighter. I have to say this is a really pretty highlighter. It's also very important to have the right brush y'all. Okay, so we are nice and glowy. <clears throat> We're gonna do some eyes, but before we do that, I'm just gonna kinda put a powder. We're gonna set all over with. It's just to kinda even things out. Okay, I like it. Okay, next we're gonna do some eyeshadow. We're gonna use these. I have not used these yet, like ever. So, um, let me find a brush I want. <clears throat> First, we're gonna go with this really neutral color. I'm going to do the crease. You know what? I have a couple of eye line, uh, eyebrows that I need to get out of here because they are in my way. I don't typically pluck my eyebrows or wax them very occasionally. Okay. So using that same color, just to kind of go, I have hooded lids, so I go like higher than my crease for that reason. And you see, I'm kind of just building that up. This one, just kind of remember, this is, um, so our, this foundation is water-based. And so just keep that in mind. It is more natural looking than like probably anything I've ever tried. And I'm usually a matte girl, so I'm still on the fence. Okay, so we got that. Next, I'm gonna go with this color, this orangey color. I'm gonna try to kind of focus on that outer corner. And 
and I'm just blending in. Okay. Yes, it does look orange right now, but trust the process. I should be like an affiliate marketing marketer or something so I can show everybody everybody's makeup. <laughs> that would be fun. Trying all the things. Okay. So then I'm going to take this shimmery color. I'm going to try to do a little bit of that in the corner. Oh yeah, this one's a darker one. This will be good. Okay, what I'm gonna do is plant some right there, like put it there, and I'll blend it out after. Okay, so to, to blend it out, I'm wiping the excess off and I'm just gonna slowly kind of swirl it. Keep it more in the corner than anywhere. Swirl it and keep it in the corner. Okay. Then I think I'm going to take it and go... It's really pretty. I'm going to take that brown again, this, and go a little under my eye. Just to darken that up. Okay, and I feel like I need it a little darker. Ooh, that powder in my eye, it feels like. Um, I need it a little darker, so let's take, see if I can find a brown. Let's see. There's a dark brown in this palette I'm gonna use. I told y'all, I have like all kinds of makeup, y'all. Okay, now that looks better. Okay, done with that. And then I'm going to take this lightest shade right here and we're going to use my finger and we're going to just tap it on. And we'll blend after. I'm just kind of going up a little bit with it to tap it in. I like that a lot. It's almost creamy. And y'all, when I say I barely tapped it. Okay, and then I'll take a tiny bit and go on my inner corner right here. Just to brighten the eye. And I'm also going to take, I'm going to clean this brush. I know that's not, it's like an eyebrow brush. I know this is not what it's for, but we're going to clean it and put a little bit of that white on my brow bone. It's like the perfect size brush, just to get enough. Okay. 
Then we need to really blend all this out. So I'm just gonna clean this brush off and we're gonna kinda blend, starting on the inside. And just blend, 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 blend. All right, so there is that. I almost am tempted to put some eyeliner on the bottom, but I'm not gonna do it. We are gonna, let's see, what do I wanna do next? We're gonna do lips. I just so happen to have one lipstick and a, a mascara. And I do have a lip liner too. Okay, so we'll do lips and then we'll do mascara and that will be our look. Now let me know in the comments what y'all think about this. could literally just use this but okay and then I have a lipstick so let's see how we like this Oop, got a little fuzz on there Oh, I do like the color. Definitely like the color. Okay. Now, I don't even know what color this is. Vintage, I think it says. And for the eyes. So, before I do the uh, mascara, I'm going to put... I'm gonna put on some lash primer from, um, this is actually Sibella. <clears throat> Y'all look at this hair, it's crazy. So I'm kinda just painting this on, hoping not to get my eyeball poked. And the good thing about me trying all kinds of other products, I can tell y'all which one, if you reach out to me, what you think you would like better, because I've tried them all. And that's why I like trying different stuff. I love to help people pick stuff and encourage them to get the right things and all of the things. I think I bit that brush, or maybe it's just bent already. And I love to teach people how to do their makeup. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, and we'll do the bottom. Let's see y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and spray um, setting spray. I definitely feel glowy. Y'all know I always gotta tap in my foundation because I'm very insecure about my forehead wrinkles. But I don't think this settled, so that's a good thing. Okay, time for mascara. Oh, that ain't mascara. It's mascara right here, right here. <clears throat> now this is impressive. I feel like I have lashes for days, y'all. And they look natural. They're nicely separated. Not cakey, not clumpy. Just good stuff. Part of it is definitely the, the mascara primer, y'all. Make it a mess. Sorry, I'm being boring right now, y'all. Can't talk. I'm scared I'm going to poke myself in the eye because I've done it a million times. Okay. And I always like to put me a second coat. So going back in. And then we'll go back in on this side. And that is a wrap, y'all. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. I'm still on the fence, but I hope y'all have a wonderful Saturday. Um, I am going to read a quick devotion because I almost forgot. This is from my Take Heart, a little devotional from the Daily Grace Co. If you don't know me, you won't know, but I am like obsessed with their stuff. I have a stack of their Bible studies. And this one I just so happen to read every time I come live. And I always get something out of it. So this one says, Psalms 61, 1 through 2. God, hear my cry. Pay attention to my prayer. I call to you from the ends of the earth when my heart is without strength. Lead me to the rock that is higher above me. Who I needed this. My back is really hurting, y'all. Picture yourself on the banks of a rocky shore. The waves of the ocean gather around your ankles and slowly start to rise. As the water rises around you, as the waters rise around you, you desperately search for higher ground. When our hearts become overwhelmed, it is easy to feel like the situation we 
have visualized. When waves of anxiety or weariness hit, we tend to reach out for something greater than ourselves. We need something higher to lift us, for everything else that remains on our level is not enough. The truth that God is our rock brings us comfort in knowing that we can cling to Him. And because He is a rock that is higher than us, we know that when we are overwhelmed, we need just to look up. We must not focus on our overwhelming circumstances. Rather, we need to look to the rock higher than us. When we look up and reach out our hands, it is God's hands that lead us to His solid ground. When our hearts are overwhelmed, we must not settle to remain tormented by the waves, but ask the Lord to lead us to his rock. In God, there is safety and salvation. In every experience of fear, he is a source of security. There is nothing higher than the Lord Almighty. There is nothing greater than him. In times of weariness, we must cry out to God. We must reach out our hands and ask him to lift us up. Our rock is higher than everything we fear. And the prayer says, God, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to fix my gaze on you rather than my circumstances. May I rest in your protection and your solid foundation. And y'all like this is this I needed today because like I have been through so much chronic pain, y'all like and really it doesn't matter what they give me. Like my pain doesn't go away. It just kind of has to take its time to go away, especially with because I have a bulging. I have a couple of bulging discs and then L5 to S1 in my lumbar area. It's like the low, low part of my back. I have a degenerated disc and I think I may have like jolted or something just the wrong way. And it feels like I have a pinched nerve now, like my whole pelvis hurts and then like down my leg. So I'm kind of I've been struggling with that. I can't get like in certain positions. I can't lay flat in the bed. Like it just sucks. And so that's kind of why like I haven't been a lot on Facebook because I've been in a bind the last few days. But today I was like, you know what? I want to try something different. Um, we are having company. My in-laws are coming and Kylie has her boyfriend here. And then Bro, I love you, best friend. And then um, the rest of them are coming. So anyway, I hope y'all have a good day. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.